Traditionally, Romneshell gypsies have been known to marry very young, with matches made by their elders in the family. I mean, can you tell me that you really want to spend the rest of your life with my child? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But in Aberdeen, Maryland, one gypsy man is going about life and love in his own unique way. Well, they call me Crazy Swayze because I love Patrick Swayze and I'm also crazy. Yeah, for all the ladies, Patrick Swayze, the dirtiest dancer. That's his actual tombstone. I love Patrick Swayze because he's such a great actor, such a ladies' man. And how can you not love dirty dancing? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. No spaghetti arms, one, two, one, two. Well, I'm 232 pounds of muscle steel and sex appeal. What you see is what you get, and what you don't see is better yet. Good friends, good times, man. Crazy Swayze, or Pee Wee, is defying gypsy courting rules and taking a modern approach to finding a wife. The summer while I was out working, I met a girl over the internet. I fell for her because of her personality. We just connected. We became best friends. She's done got my heart. Oh my gosh. Despite months of texting and phone calls, Pee Wee has never met his online girlfriend in person. Talked to her on the internet, but never met her. That's how crazy I get. And I says, how about the first time we meet, we'll just make it special and just go get married. I thought it was like the coolest thing, so I said, yeah, and it just happened. The girl that stole his heart is 21-year-old single mom, Brittany. And my finger. A non-gypsy, otherwise known as a gorger. I was going through a rough time. He just made me smile, and we've been talking ever since. Hey. Hi. This is your lover. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see you on that wedding day. Got the whole day planned, you know? <laughs> Every time I talk to him, even when we get off the phone, I just sit there and smile and think about him. He makes me happy. I can't stop saying that. <laughs> so, can you wait to see me? No, I want to see you so bad. How bad do you want to see me on a scale of 1 to 10? A uh, 100, duh. 100? Yeah. Damn! <laughs> Brittany's that missing piece of the puzzle. Like, she has my heart. I got hers. That's all there is to it. Like, two people in love. That's an American story right there. I'll do is, you know, I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> all right. Bye bye. <laughs> a bunch of chabbies running down to the lake. <laughs> Brittany has no concerns about becoming the wife of a Romna shell. Oh, I'm proud to be a gorger, but. Going into a gypsy family, I think I can handle it because I can like, live to most of their ways. My mom's sister married my uncle Gary, and he's a gypsy, and they're not. Their kids are gypsies. Wait, you ain't eating that. <laughs> Bailey has changed her a lot because lately she will not go out and have a good time. She always wants to stay on the phone and talk to him. I'll marry a gypsy boy because uh, they're all out there and crazy and loopy, just like Pee Wee is. And the gorger bride has agreed to a traditional gypsy wedding. I'm going to throw her the best gypsy wedding ever. I'm going to spool her. I'm going to make sure that she has the most beautiful dress. Nervous. Oh, really scared. Brittany's biggest worry <laughs> is what she'll be expected to wear. I'm a tomboy. I wear fox and tennis shoes and pants. I'm going to be wearing heels and a dress. I've never worn a dress. <laughs> I told her she has to put orange in the wedding dress because it is my favorite color. And she's got to look like the best gypsy wife ever. Pee Wee's hired the go-to gypsy dress designer, Sandra Celli. I make huge wedding dresses that are bling. Lots and lots and lots of bling. That's what gypsies love. Gorgeous love it, too. Hello, Sandra Celli. This is Brittany. I'm getting married. Oh, congratulations. I'm nervous because I haven't met him yet. I gotta give you credit, that's wild. <sighs> She's never actually laid eyes on him before. This kind of blows my mind. You could do something really pretty like Ivory and peach and a splash of orange. It'll be gorgeous. I want to look like a princess, a big one. I got the feeling on the phone with Brittany that she was really nervous. This is a whole new world, a gypsy world. Brittany's arrived in Aberdeen, but the couple is still waiting until their wedding to meet. 
So where are you gonna stay at? Cause you know I don't wanna I don't wanna see you until our wedding day. At a hotel. At a hotel. Well, don't tell me because then I'll I get tempted to come see you. I wasn't gonna tell you. <laughs> to help with last minute preparations, Pee Wee sends cousin Nettie to Brittany's motel. I still can't believe you guys are really going to go through with this. You guys haven't even met. I think that's crazy, you know what I mean? But true love happens anywhere. So if that's what Pee Wee wants and he's truly in love with her, I'm, I'm there for him 100%. Never met him. So you're getting to know him on the phone and through texts, not through looks or anything like that. I think that's pretty cool. It's saying I get to meet everybody from his family before I get to meet the man I'm marrying. <laughs> She's completely different than what I really thought she was going to be. She's more like, you know, open and <laughs> respectful and honest. I'm kind of happy for Pee Wee. She's, she's a really good friend. Dress designer Sandra Celli has flown in to hand deliver Brittany's dress. I got the feeling on the phone with Brittany that she was really nervous. So I decided to come down here and we're going to blow her out of the water with the craziest dress we've pretty much ever made. Are you Brittany? I got the biggest dress for you. Oh, wow. You're going to look like a princess. <laughs> this is definitely a Cinderella story. Brittany is going to be transformed from somebody who's never, ever worn a ball gown into a princess. And this time, she's going to actually be going to the ball and meeting her prince. Are you ready? Yes, All right. This dress is beautiful. I took 25 pictures of it before I even put it in the box. Oh, there it is. Good. Oh, no. Oh, it's bright, too. Oh, man. It's beautiful. I, I just, I love this dress. I love it, too. <laughs> when I first saw the dress, I was speechless. Uh, it was so beautiful. I, it was just amazing. That's so pretty. Oh, man, Brent, you were so good. So we get a two on. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, my God. I can't imagine anybody else in that, though. You know what I mean? Oh, yes. Ah! You did. Where my girl? I'm out. Oh, my girl. She's like, get out the door. Are you getting out? Shut me out. Wow. You one foot in front of the other. Yeah, right? You're all twisted. I've made Brittany a really beautiful dress. It's kind of a blend of Pee Wee's wild side and her kind of quiet side. One side of the dress is an off white silk organza, the other side, is orange. It is absolutely outrageous. This dress is really one of my favorites. To have a dress like that for me, uh, it's like a big dream come true because I would never expect it to have like something that big and beautiful. When she saw the dress and put it on, she felt like a princess and she came right out of her shell. And she'll do fine as a gypsy girl. I am so excited to see her in the dress. I hope everything goes all right with the wedding, but. Drama's drama and the gypsies. Who cares if they haven't met yet? If this is what they want, let them do it. So if anybody gets in the way, I feel sorry for them. But Pee Wee's mom, Lottie, is still strongly opposed to the wedding. I brought you some flowers, baby. That's what you Yeah. Yeah, you respect your mother. And I need my car fixed. Brittany should have come and asked me if she wanted to marry my son. That's the way I was brought up. Mom had to give permission for the gentlemen to get married, it was her boys. And he, she didn't like the girls, then you wouldn't marry her boy. So Mom Lottie decides to play her last card. Mom says she ain't going to come to my wedding. I'm never going to get over it. It's your mother. She's supposed to be there for you. How you doing, Uncle Sonny? I'm here you are to get married, Sonny. My mom doesn't want me to get married to Brittany. I don't have to ask my mom permission for I do what I want when I want to do it. Listen, let's be honest with ourselves. She going to be there. I bet you a dollar to a donut I won't. Listen, I swear on Charlie Small's gold tooth. Listen, she will you be You don't there. talk about dead people. All right, I mean all right. Yo, I swear on the Harrison's face. No, you don't talk Damn. about other people. All right, I swear on my life. My mother is going to be He can swear on his life all he wants, and then when he dies, I'll have him cremated. No, I won't be there. I can't accept her in my family. I never met her, and I can never get used to it. 
Bride Brittany is just moments away from meeting her husband to be Pee Wee for the very first time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I'm Pee Wee. No. She's blissfully unaware of the drama unfolding at the altar. That's so embarrassing to, to like the people I'm getting ready to get married to. After having a fight with Pee Wee, his disapproving mom Lottie has stormed off, hell bent on finding Brittany. We had a little bit of a problem because nobody's going to get him a wife's face. It's my wife. I was talking to your grandfather, okay? My stupid son told me I am there. I hope you. I don't know what Lottie was flipping out about. Something my like Pee Wee was taking off from my family, and then she got mad. She just wanted to yell. Let's tell about my son. Like, I'm not trying to sugarcoat it, but this family is f***ing nuts. Get that out of my face, but not the top of your head off. Looky here. No, it ain't looking here. I'm telling you, she's loony. But don't forget, when she gets old enough, I'm putting her in a home. Guess what I told him? Is he embarrassed of your family? No. Pee Wee has no choice but to intervene. Pee Wee can't come up here. Please leave. No, if I gotta leave, Brittany's family gotta leave. But Brittany is whisked away before Pee Wee arrives. And Lottie just won't give up. Run. Oh my God! <laughs> Pee Wee rushes to defend his bride. Get up, Brittany! Get the first time I wanted to lay eyes on Brittany is that moment where I get to see her, her wedding dress. Get to see all the reaction of the people being like, oh, that's a nice dress. <laughs> but instead, I'm over here grappling my mother on the ground. Mom, I don't give a f Why are you doing this to me on my day? You hate Why are you doing this to me? My mom ruined my wedding. OK, let's be honest. No, no, no more. Iwi, he's the one who caused it, the whole shing ding. Kept in my face, that's my wife, that's my wife. Well, what kind of wife do you got if she don't want to meet Mama Bear? <laughs> like, we went from all the drama, and then, like, Pee Wee, like, yelled at his mom, and he made his mom leave. And, like, after she left, everything went, like, smoothly. Can I go get <laughs> Yeah, you can. <laughs> With Lottie gone, the ceremony can finally begin. Hey, I'm doing good. I'm not. I'm at the ball. <laughs> after Lottie left, the first time I saw him, uh, he wore cuteness, orange tuxedo. I saw Brittany. She's everything I expected her to be. She smiled. She was just my princess. Same person I talked to on uh, the internet. She was right there. If you want to give one of your bridesmaids your flowers, you guys can hold hands. Really? Yeah. Well, it's about time. <laughs> Felt great to hold his hands, like be able to like, say I do. We are gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments. Get married to Pee Wee, it was worth the wait, I'd say. Should there be anyone who has cause <laughs> why this couple should not be united in marriage, they must speak now or forever hold their peace. I think they're on the seventh or sixth okay. screen. We made it through. Can I say something? Yeah. Sure. I'm so in love with you that I would give up my mother to be with you. Yeah. <laughs> By these vows, the joining of your hands and the giving of these rings, I now declare you to be husband and wife. Congratulations. You may kiss your bride. Are you happy that you married me? Yes, I'm happy that I married you. Am I everything you expected? Am I everything you expected? Nay, right, baby. Well, freaking nay, right, doggy. <laughs> <laughs> With the ceremony now over, it's time for an old-fashioned gypsy bash. Other than that crazy commotion that went on, I think the wedding and the reception went 
lovely. It was beautiful. After all that dumb drama, it was good. It was, it was great. great. So happy that her family accept me and to their family. Good things come to those who wait. They may be an unconventional couple, but Pee Wee and Brittany are keeping one gypsy tradition alive. I think everybody needed that. I, I really do. I think everybody needed to let whatever happened earlier in the day, you know, everybody just let loose. <laughs>